Every sword has a story. This is just one of them. Forge your destiny. So speaking of forging your destiny, really, really was inspired to make this video to continue on what SBI had created on their quick 30 second advertisement there. Really got me thinking of that sword, that, that destiny, that story. Um, okay, this is getting really cringy. Let's get right into the video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make millions of silver by crafting with, and most importantly, without focus. I'm going to give away the secret all the billionaire crafters have been hiding from you. What is going on YouTube? My name is Yui, also known as Poopman Albion Online, and in today's video, I want to teach you guys how to make money from crafting. This is going to include both focus and the true money maker, which is without using your focus. Now, just to get us started, I won't be going over how to craft, but rather really focus on the economic aspect of crafting. At the basis of crafting, we turn resources into gear and weapons, and this gear is then sold to the black market or the regular market, which then ends up in the player's hands in some other way and becomes trash through fighting, through ZVZs, small scale, whatever you name it, or even players who are just trash the gear. So that's really the basic of economy. It's a circle of life for the gear that you craft. And like I mentioned, there are two ways to make money from crafting, which is using your focus or without focus. Both options will make you money. However, you will be limited by your focus if you're just relying on your focus. So let's dive in and I'll show you guys how to make money. And we're gonna first go over with making money using your focus. So what is focus? Focus is only accessed with premium and you regenerate every 24 hours by 10,000 and it maxes at 30K. So this is a way that Albion gives premium players to receive resources through their crafting, refining, breeding, farming, and all these different ways. And, and you know what? That's how you truly make money from crafting using your focus because it will give you back resources, right? You craft something that uses 10, let's say 10 T8 wood. You're going to get back almost half of what you use to craft that meaning that all you need is another half to completely craft another weapon and make even more money. And the example I will show you is with cursed staffs. I have fairly decent spec with crafting cursed staffs, so I'll, I'll go to the markets and buy my resources, which are planks and bars. I'm gonna buy some books, but again, it's not really needed. It's just to make a little bit extra profit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start crafting my cursed staffs. So I will check the crafting stations and pick the cheapest crafting station so I can lower my cost. I will then craft my cursed staffs in the city which provides the best rates for cursed staffs. And every single weapon, every single gear has a different city that gives you a higher rate. And for cursed staffs, it's bridge watch. And you can see without focus, it will provide 25% resource back which is generally it's about 15%. But with focus, I will receive almost 50% of resources back. Now, once I finish crafting my cursed staffs, I'm going to transport the gear to Carleon and sell it on the black market and the regular market for a nice juicy profit. <laughs> Congratulations to our winners from last week's video. We give away premium and I'd like to do the same for this video. So as long as you've smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel and commented your in-game name below, you'll be entered for a one month premium giveaway. These are given by SBI through codes that they've provided for me.
So how much did I make doing this quick session? Let's quickly do the math. So I bought each bar for 22,760 and the planks costed me 21,494. And again, that is per one. Now I need 12 bars and 20 planks. So the total cost is 703,012 silver. And that's to craft one cursed staff without focus. But because I get the return, it's only gonna cost me 293 and 190 silver thousand to craft one cursed staff. So that's a big, big drastic cost change right there. And when you guys saw in the video when I sold them in Carleon, Great Curse Staff were going for almost 380k and Demonics were going for 360,000. Which this shows that I'm going to make almost 87,000 profit from crafting one Great Curse Staff and 66,000 from crafting a Demonic Staff. And after crafting all my 17 Great Curse Staff and 7 Demonic, I was able to generate a profit for almost 2 million silver and that's pure profit. So in a nutshell, this is how you're gonna make money from crafting using your focus. Now, what can you do when you're out of focus? So in order for you to profit from crafting without using your focus, is to craft in high tier hideouts. This requires you to have access to a high tier hideout with crafting stations. So you either join a guild or in a guild that has these facilities, or you can find some public hideouts with these crafting stations. But I recommend you join a guild like House of Games, shameless plug, join their content and enjoy their crafting stations. So here's how it works. Every zone has different crafting bonuses and the bonuses gets your higher and higher as you get to the inner circle. But to be honest, you will need to join a big, big guild that will have high requirements. So this is not going to be for everybody. But you could always get a little bit lower and I think it's about 3-6% to 6 less in the other areas, uh, other zones. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a good example of House of Games' hideout and its bonuses. So my, guild's, so my guild's hideout is located in Wetgrave Swale and our crafting bonuses are for Mace, Nature Staff, Fire Staff, Leather Armor and Cloth Helmets. And you will notice the crafting bonuses on those items say and you'll notice the crafting bonus of those items are 41%, meaning that I will receive 41% of my resources that is needed to craft an item back. And that's where the money is. And if you remember from not too, er not too long ago, when we used our focus, it was about 47%. So it's about 6% difference. And guys, there's no cap to this, right? So what you have to do is transport your resources from the Royals to the hideouts. And what I recommend you to do is to scout uh, Avalonian Rose to make those transports. And the other piece I'm going to recommend you to do is to actually go visit the black market and go see whichever one you want to craft. So if we're looking at the, the, the camels, for example, let's have a look at what the prices are in the black market and what we can anticipate for a profit margin. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all my cowls, cleric cowl, mage cowl, and scholar cowl, and I'm going to see the different price points. And as you can see, mage cows are gonna provide us with the biggest profit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and eat my salad and we're gonna go ahead and craft my T7 mage cows. Then begin your crafting. And what you'll need is salad, your resources, and some of the journals associated with the crafting stations. The journals are not so needed, but you know what? It's extra profit. After our crafting session, we will transport the crafted gear to the black market through Avalonian portals again and list them on the black market.
So how much did we make through this session? Well, if we look at the economics here, every mage cow only requires eight cloth, which cost me about 10.4K. And in the hideout bonus, I'm able to bring the my one mage cow cost to 49.2K instead of the non hideout cost, which when we transport back to Carlon, we were able to sell them for 72.6K each, which gives us about 23.3K in profit. Now, since we crafted 320 during the session, we made a profit of 7.5 million silver. And again, that is pure profit. And this is what big billionaire crafters do, and they don't want you to see this. You can scale up by doing 8.1, 8.2, and 8.3 gear, and this will increase your profit margins, but you will need pretty big pockets to do that. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do smash the like button, hit that sub if you're not already subscribed. We're so close to hitting 10k, and I'm so excited. Thank you guys all for the support to all my members. Thank you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one.